things. Gold, diamonds, but above all, its majestic nature, carefully maintained in its big game reserves. The tourists come from all over the world to spend their money, to see these beautiful places, and of course, the big five. However, it's also important to know that there are places that many people do not see, where life is a struggle, where millions of children suffer from poverty and diseases, where millions of children have lost their loved ones, where children no longer have an adult as a role model, where traditional family care has almost dissipated. That is the reality hidden behind South Africa's beautiful scenery, just a short distance from the main road. There is a boy like Emmanuel, walking down the streets, scrambling and begging for money, food and clothes, just to live for one more day. Today, your bus will stop, and hopefully, you'll get out today to see and hear our story. We children have another big five in mind. Just five words. What shall we expect tomorrow? Take a picture of us, do you mind? <laughs> Honey, are you sure you want to do this? We're late. Oh, come on, we just arrived. There's so many more to come. Come on. It's different than an elephant. Okay. Be careful. Are you sure he's clean? I want this one. He looks so genuine. Come on. Like this? Now I'm going to take a picture. All right? OK. You have to get a little lower. It kind of gets you into the picture. Well, well, smile, little boy, smile. 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 Yeah, got you. Got it? All right. Okay. Bye now. Thank you. Bye. So, yeah? Do you have some... Uh, oh, John, he wants a little something. Give him this. Wait. Here you go. Bye now. Bye-bye. Joseph, are you all right? 
Oh man, I, I feel very cold. And when you open a gate, Joseph, as the Zobango Fagas Bake, Sizofunda Izwi, Queen Radium Shumayel, twelve, verse seven. We are gathering here, brethren, to witness the funeral of our brother Joseph. We are going to read from Galatians uh, chapter twelve, verse seven. That it reads like the dust will, will return to the earth as it was and the Spirit will return to God who gave it. If your family can't be there for you, and there's no one to look after you, what kind of future can you look forward to as a child? Where is the love you so desperately need what is the home that provides you with comfort and safety? What is the teacher that keeps you in line? If you take all of that away, we kids are as vulnerable as an abundant baby bed. No safety, no protection, no parent to feed you or hold you. You try to run, to fly, but you can't. The hand reaching out to help you up is not there. Your heart screams, your heart cries. Morning, Janet. Hi, Doctor. How are you this morning? I'm fine. Okay. I see you came alone. Did you bring your parents with? No. Is your boyfriend here today? No. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh. I see the records here, you are 15 years old, is it correct? Yes. How old is your boyfriend? 
Twenty-six. Okay. <clears throat> uh, other than the boyfriends, do you have other sexual partners? Yes, friend. You did? His friends. His friends? I don't understand. He forced me to have sex with his friends. He said he loved me. He gave me gifts. For you to have sexual relations with his friends? Yes. Sure. Uh, <clears throat> you know what, Janet? I think the best thing... Uh, for us is to have other tests but now I've got your results here for the pregnancy test that we did last week. You are pregnant. So another thing that I think we need to do is to take the blood test for HIV. It's voluntary though, we don't force you but it would be advisable, recommended for you to have an HIV test. Is it okay, my baby? But blood test? Yes. It's just for you to know where, what your HIV status is because maybe some of the people that you had sex with, unprotected sex with, maybe they are HIV positive. It's just to make sure. Looking for peace in the family. We are looking for parents who care. They drink all day, they have no time for us. Oh, where would we go? Oh, where would we go? You traitor! Why is the money stolen from us? Uh, 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 I didn't steal any money. One more life from you, 
I'll kill you like a dog. Did you buy the drugs? I, I didn't go. The... Really? Ben Saba, I, I, I was afraid. Where is my goddamn money? You stole our money. Listen, listen. I, I'll, I'll give you your money back. I hid it in a safe place. Tomorrow when I see you, I'll, I'll surely give it to you. How stupid do you think we are? Kill this dog, man! Kill this dog! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Guys, guys, guys! If you kill me, you won't get your money back. Isn't it? What are you doing here? Breaking into our houses is not enough. Now you want to kill each other. Go! Go! I say go. Oh, thank you. You know, you saved my life. Lad! Oh. Go! Uh, go! Uh, thank you anyway. These stupid kids. I'm scared. When you have a headache, you think you're going to die. When you have slight cold or flu, you may also have this fear. I'm pregnant. That the next day you may not live. Your life is hanging on a thread that any time you can die. My father will kill me. If other people come to know that you are positive, they also discriminate you. Are you ready to still go on with the test? Yes. 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 It is suspected that in the townships, the children between the age of 0 and 18, one out of six is HIV infected. That means that in every classroom of 30 children, five children are HIV infected. In the case of adult population, this is suspected to be one in five. That HIV infection will result sooner or later in AIDS, a deadly disease that only can be delayed by professional medical treatment and proper food. Children can be infected during birth with HIV by their mother carrying the virus. Children can also be infected with the HIV virus by sexual abuse or by unprotected sex. Some other men still believe that when you are infected with HIV, you can get rid of the virus by having sex with a young child between the age of three and 10 years old. These crimes are at this moment still going on in Africa. I wrote it, uh, okay. yeah, and then I went to So, I should be funny thing is a letter as you see. Okay. Yeah. So, so I wanna, when I've got a, a, a good voice, I want, so for, I think it's going to be easy for you, as you see, yeah, yeah, to pick it up. Sure. That's it. <clears throat> Have I ever told you I love you? Have I ever told you? You're special, understand what I'm trying to tell you. Know that it comes deep down in my heart. What's that? Have I ever told you I love you? Have I ever? Yeah, shoot it at Kubek. Who wants to be who? I love you. Have I ever? Yeah, boy. Have I ever told you I love you? Have I ever? Yeah, we better have. 
Time. I hope you are doing well. Yeah, it's just uh, I traveled to my country. That's why you haven't seen me since all these days. <laughs> uh, is that so? Yeah. So, uh, what can I do for you, sir? Today? I just want you to polish my shoe. Okay. You know, the last time you did it, it wasn't fine. This time I want you to polish it so that I want to use the mirror, I will use my shoe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bobo, <laughs> now just to polish your shoe, they give this guy so much money like that. I want for you. <laughs> I'm just giving him to support him because he has nobody to care for him. It's an orphan. Very sad. Naturally, I thought he had family, you know. I mean, uncle or aunt. You think here in Niger? No, wow. Everybody think of his own immediate family here. That's the problem here. Can I have your other shoes, sir? Not in God, in God, in the face. You know. Yeah, boy, leave that here, leave that here, leave that here. <laughs> no, no, wow. Uh, no, no, no. Sir, uh, I'm finished. Yeah, uh, sorry, sir. Can't I polish your shoes, sir? <laughs> there are no shoes to polish. Huh? <laughs> it's a slippers. Uh, uh, anyway, sorry, uh, sorry. Oh, uh, is it to buy food and don't smoke with you too? Okay. Uh, be a good uh, boy. Uh, huh? Thanks. Sure. Let's make it forget that side. Leave that side. I'm sorry. You know what I told you? Forget my own.
Did you find it back? One more life from you. I'll kill you like a dog. Where's my goddamn money? You stole our money. How stupid do you think we are? No! It's okay. No! It's okay. You are safe. You are safe here. Beaten badly. Who did this? Bongo and his friends. Who are they? We used to hang out together on the streets, begging for food. Got involved with the wrong people. Smoking cigarettes. Then Taha. And sniffing glue. Now, they're addicted. And deal drugs. I was dealing drugs for them. I thought by that I could earn their respect. But why did they beat you? I owe them some money. They gave it to me so that I can buy drugs for them. But I used it to buy food and medication for my friend, Joseph. It didn't help. He died. I'm sorry. He was fine. But then, this man, he, he, he raped him. And Joseph got sick after that.
You said it was safe. I'm sorry. You had to meet my stepmother. I hate her. Where is your mother? She died several months ago. And your parents? My father died when I was very young. I, I don't remember him. My mother died two years ago. So I had to live with my grandmother. And what happened to your grandmother? She had to care for nine grandchildren. mood for her. But when I came back, the fire was extinguished. Grandmother was dying on the ground. She passed away just in front of her house. My grandmother used to tell me that children will never be in the streets because their parents are no more. Extended family members used to support one another. But the story is different in our days. Everyone thinks of his or her immediate family. And that is why we will not stop searching for love on the streets. I miss my mom so much. Me too, you know. I think of her very often. My mother would have been a nice grandmother to my baby. Baby? What baby? It's been a long time since we've seen each other. My heart is full of joy and happiness. We were lonely all the time with no My brother, you are such a gift to us. But Will you join me to the clinic on Monday? Yes, of course. Uh, I'm going to take the bus off 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock? Yes. I have to wake up bright and shine. Mm. Okay. By the way, what's your name? My name is Jeanette. Okay. And yours? You can call me Imanwa. Imanwa, okay, yeah.
So I suppose you are here to see me today because of your blood test. Yes. The results came back yesterday afternoon and you have tested HIV positive. You've got the HIV virus in your bloodstream. There is a possibility that your, your baby can be born HIV negative or positive. Take care of yourself. We are here for you. You are not alone, okay? Please send your friend to come and see me. Good morning, son. And how are you? Uh, I'm just okay. Well, Ness, what's really happening? You mean about Janet? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, she's got a medical problem that unfortunately I cannot discuss with you for confidential reasons. Okay? But she'll be fine. She's being taken care of. All right? Okay. All right. Janet. I can imagine what you are going through. I can imagine a lot of fears inside you and a lot of pains. So, but uh, I would like to know what is your biggest fear? I'm scared that my baby will be infected. <laughs> okay. There's chances that your baby may not be positive. There's 50-50 chances that if you give birth, your baby may either be negative or positive. But also a possibility if you take nevirapine before birth when you're having labor pain, there's great chances, 90% chances that your child may not be infected. And also for you, for now, you're normal, you're fine, you're just like a normal person. And I believe your CD4 count is still fine. So, but with time, when your CD4 counts comes slow, maybe below 200, so there will be a need for you to take ARV, which is antiretroviral uh, treatment. This treatment is not a cure for HIV AIDS, but it helps to keep uh, the viral load in check. It helps to keep the virus in check. Eh? Now, Emmanuel? Do you have other injuries except those that I see on your face? On your body, did you get seriously injured or it's just the ones that I see on your face? Uh, there are some on the body. Oh, okay. What instrument was used when you were fighting? Um, hands and bottles. Yeah. Now tell me, was there a blood that was spilling on your hands or maybe fresh blood from the wounds of your friends and from your, and from your face? Uh, you didn't come into contact with fresh blood, did you? I don't know. The only thing I know is that I was beaten. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, they are not personalized for you, but those are questions that we ask, you know, the, the people that are coming to our clinic. Now tell me, do you have a girlfriend? No. But whether nevirapine or ARV is not a cure for AIDS itself. And it's not a passport to put other people at risk. I understand what you are going through right now, and you understand the pain you are living with. And I don't think you would like other person to go through that pain. So it's nice to practice safe sex so that you can live 
to take care of your child and also live a happy home. Hmm? Were you sexually abused before? By other boys, perhaps, or by men older than you? Are you feeling all right now? No. I'm sad. Because I'm HIV positive. <laughs> and your baby? They said they'll give me some medicine for my baby. something to worry about, you know? What? <laughs> the doctor says I should come to a blood test. When? Next week, Monday. <clears throat> That's tough. Would you come with me? Yes, I will.
Doctor. Oh, hi, Janet. Good to see you again. What can I do for you? Uh, doctor, I'm here to collect Emmanuel's blood test results. I waited for him at the bus stop. He failed to show up. Are his results ready? Uh, you know what, Janet? Unfortunately, I cannot give you Emmanuel's blood test results. Okay. Yes. Emmanuel is supposed to come to take the results personally himself. But doctor, I'm worried about him. I know, but this is strictly confidential. I cannot do that. Okay, bye. Bye. Janet? Doctor? I've seen the results, but don't worry about Emmanuel, okay? Don't listen. You should have caught that bastard. Why me? Don't you why me? It's you. You don't listen, Em. Awuzwa. Always it's you, man. Why are you so man? But... We are in deep shit, man. If we do not get this money, we are dead. If I get that plant now, I'll kill him with my bare hands! Good. 
kachoro de kachoro de kachoro che wa ba bonya ne du mo de kachoro de kachoro de kachoro odinye korong bu wa wa odinye korong o ne du mo ne du mo ne du mo de kachoro Brothers and sisters, we have come here to pay our last respect to Emmanuel, who was a good friend. We knew him and uh, we lived with him. Uh, we, com we have come here also to commit his body to dust, where it came from, and may his spirit return to God who gave it. And may the Lord receive his spirit, and may he rest in peace. Amen. 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 Yeah. 